How's it feel to be back out there working, Bo? Oh, it feels good to be back out here. It ain't so cold. Okay, guys, good morning. It's, uh, what, Thursday morning? Uh, I just got one little bush job I'm gonna do. Uh, Bo's gonna, uh, well, Bo's basically gonna be doing a bush job. Uh, he, uh, well, the shelter, uh, they're saying it's warm enough now and not gonna be as cold the next few nights. So they don't offer this shelter particular. This particular place don't offer places when it's when it's uh, above a certain degrees. I don't know what that is, but you know, uh, whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick him up. We'll do this one little bush job over here. Uh, it's not much, uh, and that's about it. It you know just enough to kind of cover expenses and all. I'm waiting on the bobcat to get back, and I'm gonna get Drew back out here. Uh, oh. So yeah, so I want to give a big shout out to Rick over there at Caleb's Lawn Care uh, for the video he did yesterday about credit and about how to make it through the winter. Those are the kind of things that I've been doing for years, y'all. Uh, you know, I pay my mortgage in advance. I pay, uh, 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 well, I pay everything in advance, you know. Uh, I don't wait till now to do it. I usually start on that you know in June July I'll, I'll I'll owe a mortgage and I'll pay you know one every two weeks instead of every month and what that does is by the time you get to the end of the summer you're six or seven months ahead of time and you know what I try to do now it don't always work out as I try to continue making a monthly payment during the winter uh, but it's good to know I don't have to uh, so if I can make the monthly payment during the winter, then then when we when we approach the summer next year, I'm way ahead of the game. Uh, and then if something happens or anything too, you know, it's always a good thing. But that was a great video. Uh, uh, you explained things really well, uh, you know. Uh, and I think it's really noble of you, man, to be, you know, guiding your grandson in this format to uh, become you know, a, 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 a lawn care business owner. True enough, at 19, being a young man, you know, he doesn't know a lot of the ins and the outs, and not because he, he can't learn, it's just because he hasn't been living long enough, you know. Uh, but you, on the other hand, got a lot of experience just in life, and you gotta have that, man, to really avoid a lot of the pitfalls that an unguided 19-year-old would fall in. Not saying he wouldn't make it, you know, but uh, you can relieve a lot of that, uh, you know, uh, stuff for him to where he can learn from someone that uh, is not trying to get nothing out of him, you know? So that's real good of you, man. I wish I had a granddaddy like that when I was coming up, man. You know, I didn't, you know, so. My granddaddy was old drunk, so, you know, <laughs> I mean, you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, but yeah, you know, and, and you were talking about, you know, uh, credit, credit and, and that too. I've been able to, over the years, uh, you know, run my business mostly on cash as far as uh, buying equipment and stuff. Uh, and the reason, and it's not because I'm some some fantastic guy with you know with money is it's the reason because when i was younger i ran credit up and i had to pay all that stuff down in order to get any credit so when i started my business i was i was uh uh buying mowers and equipment with cash now i did have my in-laws did help me a few times on uh on big mower purchases you know I think the, the first X Mark mower that I bought, they loaned me the money for it. Uh, now I had to pay them back and I had to pay back in chunks. It wasn't no $200 a month or nothing. Uh, I had to pay them back, you know, $1,000 a month. So, 
yeah so that made me get out there and hustle because number one i was grateful for them doing that and number two i wanted to pay things off so i could borrow more money and you know uh, the first few years i couldn't do anything with my messed up credit you know I, 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 because of the fact that well I, I wasn't making enough money to do anything but after about four or five years in the game i started i was able to uh, pay down some of the high credit stuff that i had and get my credit uh, to where i could finance equipment just on my signature you know in the beginning i couldn't even sign for a freaking cell phone y'all so that just tells you that where uh, you where you're at and where you're trying to go you can get there and no matter what obstacles are in the way now I was very fortunate to have in-laws that had a little bit of money uh, and you know they didn't have big money or nothing but they had you know 10k you know and he would let me my father-in-law would let me borrow like 10,000 and I'd buy a mower and then I'd pay it back in a year and then I did that uh, two or three, I did that, what, two times. I did it with the mower, first mower, and I did that with the dump trailer. Uh, but, you know, when you're dealing with family and money and borrowing money and all that, that's, uh, uh, that's stressful in itself. And keep in mind, I was uh, in my mid-30s, so I wasn't 19. So, you know, at 19, I probably couldn't have gotten no money from nobody, no matter what I did, because they didn't know if I was serious or what, you know. You know, you have to, they got to believe, you know, that you're serious about what you're doing and all that, man. And uh, when I was, you know, 19, man. So, Caleb, you're getting a great head start on the game for real. And uh, Pops is really showing you uh, the ins and the outs without it costing you, you know. Uh, and y'all know I talk about my videos all the time. Sometimes it ain't about what you make; it's about what you ain't got to pay for, and it ain't. And it's about what you don't waste your time on, you know. So, uh, big shout out to to Rick or Caleb's man for sure. Uh, great video, man. Okay, so now going up here to the shelter i'm gonna pick up bo i'm gonna bring him back down here you know uh because he can't stay up here anymore that's what he says it's probably a lie uh but uh i need to get some stuff done today uh and i probably have drew back out here tomorrow man i don't know if bo will make it back out here tomorrow but see i don't have enough work right now with the skid steer in the shop to uh, uh for both of these guys and see, with Drew, I don't even like to bring Drew out here unless he's getting, you know, a, a good, a good, uh, a good pay, you know. Because, like, me and Bo, we'll probably work for an hour and a half or two hours. And see, Bo's good for that kind of thing. But, uh, and doing bushes, Bo's good at that, too. So, uh, you know, I, I'm, and plus the fact that I brought him up here to the shelter, and the other day I told him that uh, if they got to where he, he, you know, it wasn't cold enough and he had to leave, I would come and get him. Uh, so by the mere fact that I got to go up here and pick him up, I'm gonna get something for that, right or wrong. I mean, he's gonna pay me, uh, and he's gonna pay my my fuel, you know. Uh, but I'll definitely uh, get some work done uh, today, and we'll make a few hundred bucks, you know. You know, not not nothing major. So we're gonna see what Bo's up to. We're gonna see if he can, if he's even out here and available. We got him a toboggan anyway. Got him a new shirt on. That boy dressed to kill, y'all. Rut row. What's up, man? Mr. Upshaw. Couple waters, man. Damn, dog. You got the new everything, don't you? Damn. They're da tens. You too. Look at Bo. Oh my God. You, you didn't shave, up, man? You shave, dog. They didn't have no razors. Oh, damn. I gotta get. I gotta How get you feeling, one, man? Uh, feeling pretty good after a couple days? Uh, get you some rest? Yeah. Yeah, I sat up. It's, yeah. Got some rest. You ain't drink nothing? No. They don't let you drink, do they? 
No, I'm out here. I went and uh, they had donation lines of cars coming in. Mm -hmm. And I uh, towed the boxes off the conveyor belt for them. They give you some money? No, I just, I got like two plates of roast beef and oh, uh, corn casserole. Where are your clothes at? They're still in there. I got, in there? Yeah, they're having it again tonight. So. Oh, okay. Oh, well, shit, I didn't know that. I mean, so I got to bring you all the way back up here? No, I, I, I'll, as far as I can get, I'll have to walk. I ain't got nothing else to do because tonight's the last night they gonna have it. And my my suit, my Columbia suit, that black thing, that's my best outdoor shit I got. It's in there, and, and they gave me a locker, so they are gonna wash it for me if I go back, and uh, I can I can get anything else I might need. They got army cots. So yeah, it's supposed to rain. It's supposed to rain, dude. <clears throat> I think. I want one of them army cots, man. Well, I don't know how much money you're trying to get and all that today, man, because uh, if I gotta bring you back up here, dude, come on out. If I gotta bring you back up here, dude, I'm, I, I, I mean, <laughs> it's costing me, dude. I mean, if you're going back up there, how much money do you really need to be up there? Where, up there? Here. Oh, shoot, not, not they much. They don't really ask for no money. There's a little place next door where I can go ahead, I can get my hair cut. It's probably pretty cheap, you know what I mean? I'm thinking about going and get me a haircut, man, and I have to buy me a razor and I can get that shit done. And... They don't, uh, they don't have nobody to cut hair? Huh? They got a, a haircut, a barbershop right next door right there. I like these jeans they gave me. Damn, man, well, you came up, didn't you? I mean, well, YouTube was asking about you, dog. Oh, they was? Yeah. Saying, how's Bo doing? They all praying for Bo. Oh, good. He needs it, don't you? Need all the prayers he can get, y'all. Yeah, but I mean, I don't have, you know, I don't have hardly enough work to, I didn't know you needed to come back up here. But it's you're gonna have to come back up here now. You got to, man. Cause it ain't gonna be no, a, it ain't gonna have no money to be in the street, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming back to get. As soon as I leave tomorrow, I gotta come get my bike. I'm gonna get my bike hooked up good. Where's your bike at? Find me a spot. I got it stashed. We well, need to bring your bike up here so you can ride it back tomorrow. Cause see, I ain't gonna be coming up here to get you every day, dude. But I don't have enough work for all I'll that. Come back. Uh, Popular Road's like downhill. I can yeah. come back down Popular and go by Sears. You know, go by over Billy's. Well, at least you got some rest, didn't you? Mm -hmm. so, so, what's it like in there? Oh, it's got, I had an army cot. They got blow up beds. They got um, a lot of people in there. There's like one girl in there and some other lady. She got a she got a little little jeep they all piled in and left a lot of them together as friends and stuff. Like that boy I was just talking to, he's going to his grandmother in the Roscoe Road. He's been away from her for a week. He Why has he been up? He just like I guess he just don't. Is he on drugs? I don't know. I don't know. It looked like he might be a little, on a little bit of dope or something. Like Charles Manson. Is that what he looked like? Yeah. Charles Manson. He looked like Charles Manson. <laughs> So now I'm trying to figure out what we can do to justify me having to come back up here, dude. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, how much money are you trying to get today? I don't, I, don't see you, I don't see you getting a lot of money, dude. Not with all the running around we gotta do. You don't need no money, though. Well, you, need big, you don't need no big money. No, I don't need no big money. Of course not. Anything to get out of the street for a minute, too, you know? white mask Oops. i got i got a beige thick like look like a suit material it's got like purple and beige on it it's my bag it's just going to store so they they talked to you about a phone uh i told them i needed to get an id i think they said they'll get on they'll help you set the appointment they'll definitely help you do that dude see that's what i'm talking about you got to use the resources man available to you you know yeah ain't no resources down here where we live at is there well, a lot, I mean, a little bit. A lot well, ain't nobody up. carrying you to the damn, to the DMV to get your ID. No. You know, and they probably got the inside scoop, man. They probably do that all the time. Don't you think? Yeah. Get people's ID for them, help them get their ID back. I mean, that's the whole purpose is to help y'all, you know, get, get, get your life back in order. Yep. All I do is look for work. When I, ain't, when I ain't screwing off getting trying to get thing about it is uh, yeah I mean that's I mean that's a good thing yeah. you know but but you gotta it's the money that that kills you you know having a, if you you know you got if you got damn two hundred dollars you ain't going to the shelter 
you know that's where you that's where things get kind of off the road for you when you have a bunch of money not a bunch of money but just you know you ain't got to pay them that's good I, I know and I know they ain't smoking crack in there or nothing no I don't see nobody smoking crack. yeah but they ain't drinking either of them ain't like the one in Griffin is it they're a lot more strict ain't they They beat you for breakfast this morning. Oh, you just get like oatmeal, coffee, cakes, and stuff like that in the morning. At night, they'll be. They beat you good? Last night was real good. They had uh, chunks of pot roast, man, with carrots, oh, corn casserole, taters, and rolls. Damn, dog. You probably ate better. You, you, yeah, you probably eat better up there. Probably ate more up there, but you ate the whole time you was there, didn't you? Munching on something. There was some <laughs> guy walking up the road here a while ago. Barefooted, dude. Damn. Shorts on. I think he done escaped from the mental ward over here at the hospital. Damn. But that's why the police are here. Because he was had to have no shoes on, shorts on, and a tank top. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can just get up like right there at that Burger King or something, yeah? I'll get me a burger because they ain't going to feed it like 5 or 6 o'clock tonight. Anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They were right there. Yeah, but you can't walk. You gonna walk all the way from there to the shelter? You need your bike, man. Yeah, I got a lot of money. You can't just, they say you can't, you have to have a lot. You gonna bring a bike over there. We, we, I got a lot for you. I got a piece of chain and a lock. All right. How's that sound? Sound good. And a key to the lock. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, y'all, we finna pull up over here. I'll get back with you guys, man. Tell them peace, folks. Peace. Hey, is there one more glove in the I don't know, man. Look at that toolbox right there. Yeah. Well, here, keep it. Take the other glove off. Let's keep both gloves together. Put that, put that other glove. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So uh, I'm going to get both started over here. And I kind of just want to show you guys what. Uh, grab them hedge trimmers. Yeah. Now, they got, uh, they got a half a battery, too. So, uh, we're going to definitely need the, uh, the gas-powered stuff. Of course, we're going to pull that sign out of there, all the trash out of here. I'll bring a weed. So, what do I need to bring back over here with me? Look, all these bushes right here, round them. The uh, rose bush, we cut that rose bush way back, man. Just like we do every year. We'll take that, I'll take that tree out with a chainsaw. That, that tree up in there. I'll use the gas-powered hedge trimmers to, to we want to see the whole corner of this concrete. And see, I'm trying to see what we got to do to get these briars out of there. Once you get this cut back, you pull oh, yeah. everything that's right. Can we pull up. them up or what? And then we'll trim, uh, we'll trim this tree right here too. I mean, those briars are everywhere, dude. Man, it's going to be hell pulling them out, I bet. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, you can make a pile anywhere for, with them. They're going to be all over you. Uh, so the pompous grass here, whatever you want to call that. Is, what's that called, Bo? What is it? Maiden. Amazing grass? Maiden. Oh, maiden. So cut the maiden grass back. You can cut that way back, can't you? And then, uh, if you don't, yeah, whatever you got to do to, if you don't get the root, that's cool, man. Just whatever to make it where they can't see them. Maybe they'll die if we pull. Uh, so y'all kind of see what we got going on here. It's not a big job. Uh, we'll probably trim a couple of these maple trees up a little bit too. Pick the canopy up a little bit when I get back. Uh, yeah. Y'all, so y'all kind of see what we're doing. Uh, uh, I'll try to get a little footage when I get back. It's right, peace out. So I want to show you guys what this tire is doing. So see all the see the tire tread on all these tires. Look how good they look. It's a great tread on every tire, right? Until you get over here to this one. See, it's about flat. And look how bald it is compared to the other tires. 
And I know why, because when I when the brakes lock up, this is the tire that slides. So, yeah, we're gonna have to put some air in that tire. Uh, and I'm gonna change it out. I got a brand new one over there. I'm gonna I'll go when I get over there to the job that we're both at. I'll change it out over there. You start one. drinking, you won't. No, I'm, I know you, John. I guarantee you're gonna try to creep a beer. No, I'm trying. I want to get a um, one of those. Uh, I would like to see where I can get me an army cot or another sleeping bag. You know what I'm saying? Keep up with and get the fuck up out of town and go on the outskirts and some shit. Between Sharpsburg, Turin, and Sonoy, you know, right. somewhere I can post for a couple weeks. You know, get through the holidays. It's supposed to rain. Oh, is it? Yep. I know you. I guarantee you'll take this little money right here, and you'll be you'll be drunk by five. And then that be you'll be that be your own fuck up. And then they won't let you in down here, and then you'll be calling me talking about, hey man, I need a ride. No, I wouldn't do that, dude. No, it wasn't no good. all week dude so drew needs to get some time in though you know what i'm saying it ain't just you bo so you better take this little money and be good with it <laughs> he told me i could get me a part-time job at uh redneck gourmet okay i don't see anybody giving you a part-time job without id but they might that's one thing i could do with that money <laughs> Where can I drop you off at where I ain't got to go all the way up in the square? Uh, anywhere down there by the pawn shop and all that shit down there. The pawn shop's on the square. Uh, Are you talking about uh, oh, oh, the new pawn shop? Yeah, I can drop you off there. That's a lot closer to me having to go all the way up downtown. You good, man? Yeah, it's all right. All right, y'all. This is Rainbow. You tell me, you can tell you two bye. Bye, YouTube. See y'all, man. Merry Peace Christmas. out. All right, y'all. So we got done with what little job that was. It turned out to be a, a little bit more than what I thought it would be. They always do uh, on things like that. But uh, I charged more money, too. So Bo got a little more money than I really wanted to give him. But, uh, you know, he worked hard for it, so, you know. But still, he, you know, you can tell, just the mentality, man. You can tell he's going to be drunk by five. By the time he has to go in that shelter, I guarantee that boy's going to be drunk. And see, I shouldn't have worked him today, but I had to get that done, you know. I had to, you know. So, you know, uh, he can... I mean, he he, he going to do what he going to do no matter what. I be I will be very surprised if he stays at that shelter tonight. Very. What he don't know is tomorrow, I, 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 I ain't no work for him. 
not none. You know, you don't know what that is, right? That's a big fat zero, man. It's gonna be me and Drew tomorrow. I didn't want to have to give him that much money, man. But I, had, but but, you know, I had to, man, because when we got over there, the lady came outside, and she uh, added this and that and that and this on. So you know, we ended up having to do a lot more stuff than what uh, was projected when I started. I figured we'd go over there, we'd spend about an hour, hour and fifteen minutes, and uh, you know, knock knock it out. But it turned into a lot more than that. I'm trimming trees. Uh, we was over there for about three and a half, four hours. And I had to haul things off. So, you know, I took a whole dump trailer load of stuff out of there. So it was just a... I'm grateful though, you know, because I charge, I would be able to charge more money than what I thought I would to begin with, but I had to give Bo more money than I really wanted to give him, man, because I wasn't trying to hold none of his money up uh, for tomorrow because uh, tomorrow would, would, would be payday, and then that means I would have to have to have, have to, uh, you know, uh, deal with him tomorrow, and I don't want to deal with him tomorrow. But that's how he is, man. That boy right there, I'm telling y'all, man, that boy, right, he worked good though. I mean, he worked good. So what do you do, man, you know? Ain't nothing changed. He ain't all of a sudden had a eye-opening experience or nothing. He's, he's plotting right now. He's, he's thinking, shoot, I got blah, blah dollars, and I can go get drunk now. Now what he thinking? Now we end up, what he gonna do? I'm gonna grab me a couple of cheeseburgers and go home and eat, man. It's great. Peace out.